when the average person thinks of a narcissist, they're thinking about someone that is incredibly self-centered, someone that, that has an unending need for praise and adulation, someone that has no ability really to connect with other people, someone that is, that is entitled, someone that is uh, exceptionally arrogant, thinks they're better than everybody else, they, they have delusions, that they, they have talents that they maybe don't really have. All of these characteristics typically fall into that bucket of narcissism, but they also fall into the bucket of selfish jerk. And it's difficult to make that differential diagnosis, I think. And so when, when I did my very first Sister Wives reaction video, this would have been last February at the end of season 16, I said that I didn't think that Cody met the diagnostic criteria for narcissistic personality disorder. And today I want to talk about why I felt that way then and why, based on what I have seen in season 17, I changed that perspective. First of all, it's really important to me that I don't misuse this platform. Giving somebody a clinical diagnosis, I don't care what it is, is a big deal and should be done with care. And there is no way that I could watch, that anybody could watch reality TV and make an accurate diagnosis. What we are going to, the goal of this today is to learn more about narcissism, not so much about, about Cody Brown. I want you to think about this like it is a, it's a case study, it's a vignette that we are reacting to. But in no way, shape, or form am I saying I know what Cody would or wouldn't be diagnosed with. So there's four qualities that I think about when making a differential diagnosis of narcissistic personality disorder. The first is that all of these behaviors, all of these kind of selfish behaviors have to be pervasive. They have to show up in multiple areas of somebody's life. Last season when I was watching the, the tell-all clips, I only saw Cody be selfish as it related to his wives. And in my mind, I was thinking, well, he seems to have good relationships with his kids. He seems to be successful at work. So how do I know that this is a pervasive pattern versus just how this man treats his spouses? After watching season 17, based on the clips that were shown by TLC, it seems evident that Cody is quite selfish when it comes to his relationship with, with his wives, relationships with his, with his kids, right? The way he treated, for example, the way he treated... Uh, Garrison and Gabriel, I thought was incredibly self-centered. Uh, his treatment of Isabel, exceptionally self-centered. So that's the kids. And then I think about his friends and how he navigated being the officiant of his friend's wedding. It was all about Cody. He, he, he had to have the spotlight. He wasn't able to give the spotlight to the bride and groom. Very selfish. And, and so I'm looking at it going, okay, so I know he does it with his wives. I know he does it with his kids. He does it with his friends. That feels pervasive to me. Now, before I move on to number two, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. NordVPN is a very well-known and established cybersecurity organization. They, they specialize in allowing you to browse the internet in a safe way. So if you go on the internet right now, sort of unprotected, you're going to get advertisements that are geared specifically towards you because they know where you live, they know what you've been looking at on the internet, and they can track all of that. And the downside is, one, people know what you're looking at, and two, it's, it's less secure, people can... It's easier for people to hack your passwords and know, know all of your personal data. And some websites get censored based on where you're located. What NordVPN does is essentially creates an encrypted tunnel that you can go through to, to browse the internet privately. It's a virtual private network. Now, because NordVPN has partnered with me on this video, they're offering an exclusive deal to my audience. You just got to go to the link below or go to NordVPN slash PopPsych and they will give you a two-year plan plus four months for free. It's a risk-free deal because the first 30 days, it's money back guaranteed. I, I can't recommend it enough. All you got to do is go to the link below or NordVPN slash PopPsych. The second thing I look at is a narcissist's inability to, to feel good about themselves on their own. Narcissists, if you think about where narcissism come from, it comes from a deep sense of insecurity. These are people that have, as a consequence of typically a very traumatic childhood, never had a never developed a strong sense of self so they only know themselves as a in reference to other people so so they don't know oh i'm good at basketball because i i've been practicing and i'm making more shots they know i'm good at basketball only if i am better than the person next to me and so you'll see narcissists be really sort of dependent on positive appraisals from others and if you watch cody in this season 17 there is such a strong need for him to be praised by the family, 
right? And you can see this in many different areas. I mean, the big one is as it relates to COVID, right? He wants his COVID protocols followed, but he also wants deference as far as how he navigated COVID, right? It's not that he just wants people to be subservient. He wants them to be subservient and also give him praise. And I think that's why he is so much happier with Robin is it's not that she's obedient. I mean, she's obedient and that helps, but she's obedient and she is over the top in the way she praises his ability to manage or navigate the family. And the third thing I look at is, is a lack of empathy. And this one I think is important because when, when people see a lack of empathy, they think, okay, this person just doesn't care about the people around them. Um, I think selfish people don't care about the people around them. What differentiates a narcissist is they don't even recognize that what they are doing is hurting the people around them. They don't recognize that there are emotions to be hurt, right? And I, that's a, that's a, there's n nuance there. And there's a story that I have told on YouTube. So if you've heard this, just fast forward, I'll tell it again. When, when I was learning, when I, my very first training program, my master's program, I worked at a community health center and we worked with very, very people that were really struggling with anxiety. And we had this anxiety group and I was co-facilitating with a, an older psychologist that was, uh, that was fantastic. We're in this group and it's, we're, this is just mostly it's generalized anxiety, some OCD, but people were just essentially, it was a big deal that they had gotten out of their home and come into the clinic and people are going around and giving their sort of shares you know, what they've experienced over the last week, what's going on with them, whatever. And then there's a woman in the group who was relatively new to the group, but she was older. I think she was like in her 70s, I'm going to guess like 74. And, and the, it, come, it becomes her turn and she stops everybody and she pulls out her fanny pack and she's digging around in it and she pulls out this wrinkled piece of paper and it's an adoption receipt. She had given up her daughter for adoption, whatever it was, you know, 50 years ago, 40 years ago, and she starts crying and she says, um, I'm ready to pursue this. I'm ready to see if I can find my daughter. And she just starts bawling. Everybody in the group starts crying. I am thinking, I mean, it was a big moment for me as a young therapist to go, man, this group therapy thing works. I, I, it was such, such a moving moment. I was just kind of trying to hang on. And then the room, the woman next to her turns around and goes, I can't believe you gave up your daughter. I had no money and I, and I raised two kids without a problem. And it was this weird, like totally discordant response that was so, in my opinion, it was so cruel. It's like, well, how could you be that vicious, that mean that in this person's moment of sadness, this person's moment of expression, you cut her off like that. The group ends and I'm talking about that with the psychologist and he says, she's not selfish. She's a narcissist. She just doesn't even recognize that there is somebody else in the group that has an emotion. She's not trying to be mean. She just doesn't get it. And I feel that way with Cody. I feel that way when Cody talks about or, or, or thinks about the pain of his kids. He doesn't really feel bad about it. He just goes, yeah, they're probably hurting right now and dismisses it. When, he, when, he's, when he's talking about Mary to, the, the T, to TLC and he's saying, I don't want to be in a relationship with her. And he knows she's going to see it, but he doesn't care. When he doesn't go to, to Isabel's back surgery, he, he doesn't understand. He doesn't get how painful that is. And to me, that is a real hallmark of that narcissism. Cody's not trying to be mean. He just doesn't get it. And the fourth component that I think about when it comes to narcissism is, is treatment. Personality disorders in general, especially narcissism, are very difficult to treat. In fact, there is no efficacious treatment for narcissism. It's a pervasive pattern of someone's personality. So if somebody responds well to feedback, if they see the error of their ways and they adjust their behavior quickly, probably not a narcissist, right? That's just a selfish person and they, if they recognize what they're doing, they can adjust. Cody, on the other hand, it seems like I, has been to therapy a lot. It feels like he is getting worse, not better. And my sense there is that he is treatment resistant, which would put him in the category of a narcissist. Because I saw all four of those characteristics pretty clearly in this season 17, that's the reason why I shifted my perspective and said, yeah, Cody might meet some of the criteria for a personality disorder. So I hope that's helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And again, please check out NordVPN. Go to the link below or go to NordVPN slash Thank you so much for listening.